Hi everyone, this is a video where I talk about the principles on problems involving systems of reservoir. So we'll consider here two reservoir problems, three reservoir problems, and four reservoir problems. Other problems that involve reservoirs are also included here, but if you know the principles in these first three problems, then you can easily follow the principles on dealing with other miscellaneous reservoir problems. Okay, let's have the two reservoir problems. <coughs> so, without the machine, the flow will be by gravity. Therefore, the flow direction would be from higher reservoir to the lower reservoir. So the difference in water surface elevation is denoted by big H and that big H is equal to the frictional loss if minor losses are neglected. Then considering all other losses or all losses then H if you write energy equation will be the sum of the frictional losses and the minor losses. So that's it for considering all losses. And let's have the principle on three reservoir problems. So before we proceed, let's have this principle, very important principle. Two pipe systems are equal, although equivalent, although I already discussed this in the preceding lecture on on series parallel pipes if they have the same discharge and the same head loss so when you change the system by an, another system make sure that these two are the same for the two systems to be equivalent second without a machine the reservoir with the highest water surface elevation always supplies water and the one with the lowest water, sur water surface elevation always receives water. So that's the principle if the system has no machine. So therefore, in this three reservoir problem, A always supplies. The flow direction will be towards the junction. And this reservoir C here, which is the lowest, always receives. So the flow direction should always be towards that lowest reservoir. So the second reservoir must be investigated if the flow direction is towards it, inflow or outflow. So that's why we have the questionable direction of its flow here. So we, we assume first, because we're going to investigate the flow direction in, in this pipe here, if it is inflow towards the reservoir or outflow towards the junction, so first we assume no inflow or outflow to be that happens when the piezometric level will be at the same level as b as shown piezometric level at the junction so if the piezometric level level rises to that of the water surface elevation at b there will be no flow at b then because Normally, the vertical distance between the two reservoirs or the elevations of the water surfaces in the reservoirs are known, then you can compute this distance which serves as the head loss in this pipe, in pipe 1, and the discharge is denoted as Q1 prime, not the final, just call it Q1 prime. So you can determine H1 prime, you can compute or you can evaluate H3 prime also as the head loss of pipe 1 partially if there's no flow in or out to reservoir B. So case 1 when Q1 prime after treating this as the head loss in this pipe here you can compute Q1 prime towards the junction. When Q1 prime is greater than Q3 prime because there's no flow in or out of B so you can compute Q1 prime and Q3 prime you have to compare the two. When Q1 prime is greater than Q3 prime, so meaning to say the flow 
if the piezometric level is at the same level as B, no flow in B, will be too much for this pipe. So therefore, it will be given to reservoir B. So if this is the case, then the piezometric level will be above B. Only A will be above the piezometric level so that by principle above, that the one with the highest surf water surface will always supply. Then the equation, the actual equation would be Q1 equals Q2 plus Q3. So that's the location of case one. So I'll call it P1, piezometric level one. And the true equation would be, this is the energy grade line. So that's HF1 also. This vertical distance from piezometric level to water surface at B would be HF2. Then distance from piezometric level 1 to reservoir C is HF3. Then this is the equation Q1 equals Q2 plus Q3. Then case 2, when Q1 prime is less than Q3 prime, same assumption as before that the piezometric level is at the same level as B. Because we compare Q1 prime with Q3 prime, if it is less than Q3 prime, then Q1 is not enough when the piezometric level is at the same level as B. So meaning to say, reservoir B will help reservoir 1 to supply reservoir C. So that is, the piezometric level is below B for that case. So it is there, that's P2. And therefore, HF1 would be from water surface at A to vertical distance to piezometric level at 2. So this will be HF1, the actual head loss in pipe 1. If this is the case, then this is HF2, the vertical distance between piezometric level 2 and B. And HF3 would be the vertical distance between piezometric level 2 and reservoir C, which are unknowns. But we can express them in terms of a single unknown, it may be HF1 normally. So what would be the equation if the piezometric level is at 2? Then both Q1 plus Q2 must be equal to Q3. Then do we have case 3? There is. Now what if in case 1, Q1 prime is equal to Q3 prime? When Q1 prime is equal to Q3 prime, then this is a very rare situation but can be done if if intentionally made or done, then meaning the piezometric level is really at P prime. So that is also P3 and there is really no inflow or outflow to B. So if, if that is the case, then Q1 prime will be equal to Q1 or Q1 equals Q1 prime. Q2 will be zero and Q3, Q3 equals Q3 prime. Do you have case Four, of course, no more. So that's the only three cases for this situation, for three reservoir problem. Then let's have the let's have the principles on four reservoir problems. So let us say these are the four reservoirs A, B, C, and D. And in this case, although drawn supposedly in pictorial view. Uh, D is the lowest reservoir and A is the highest reservoir. Without the machine, then A supplies, the flow direction would be towards the junction and for reservoir D, towards D. That is given or that is sure. So what is unsure would be for reservoirs B and C, which we are going to investigate. So first, we have to assume there is no inflow or outflow to B just like before the second reservoir. So the biosymmetric level will be at the same level as B. So only three reservoirs will operate for this case and we are sure that Q1 is towards the junction and Q4 is towards D. So Q3 will be questionable its direction. So that's P prime. And we have to, we, have, we can compute the Head loss in pipe 1, we call that H1 prime. 
then pipe to isometrically level p prime to reserve c h3 prime rather then this is h4 prime this will be the head loss in the pipe leading to this reservoir when the piezometric level is really at b same level as b so case one when q1 prime because we can compute q1 prime and q3 prime and q4 prime we have to compare q1 prime with q3 prime and q4 prime the flow direction would be towards reservoir c because the piezometric piezometric level at b prime is above c so when q1 prime is greater than q3 prime plus q4 prime if this is true then meaning only reservoir a will supply water to the rest of these reservoirs so the piezometric level will be above b so that's case one p1 so q1 equals q2 plus q3 plus q4 that would be the equation for the uh, discharge continuity equation so next we assume no inflow or outflow to c for case two so meaning to say the biometric level p double prime will be at the same level as c then h1 double prime would be from a to c vertical distance that's h1 double prime between b and piezometric level p double prime would be hf h2 prime then this is h4 prime so these are the assumed head loss to each pipe if the piezometric level is at the same level as c then because p double prime is below both a and b we have to compare q1 double prime and plus q2 double prime against q4 double prime so case 2 when q1 double prime plus q2 double prime is greater than q4 double prime meaning their combined discharges towards the junction will be in excess will be excessive compared to q4 double prime so the excess will be given to reserve c so the piezometric level will be above c but below b then the actual equation that should be that will be case to p2 the actual actual equation will be q1 plus q2 equals q3 plus q4 because both a and b are above p2 and both c and d are below p2 case 3 is when q1 double prime from here q1 double prime plus q2 double prime is less than q4 double prime so meaning to say the two discharges are not enough to supply q4 so they need the reinforcement help of reserve c so the equation would be or the piezometric level will be below c and only d will be below only d will be below the piezometric level all the three will be above the piezometric level so that would be the location of p3 for case 3 so q1 plus q2 plus q3 equals q4 this is also rare and you can identify that this is the situation when d is really far from all the three and the diameter of the pipe leading to d is big compared to the pipe diameters of the three again you you may encounter this situation when d is very far from all the three reservoirs so for example these three reservoirs differ only by five or ten meters then d will be 80 meters or 60 meters below the lowest reservoir so there's a possibility especially if the diameter leading to that reservoir is big compared to the other three very rare case three but possible okay so case four is when q1 prime equals q3 prime plus q4 prime what if this is true so meaning to say the biometric level is at the same level as b 
So P prime will also be P4. And therefore, Q1 is Q1 prime. Q2 will be 0. Q3 will be equal to Q3 prime. And Q4 will be equal to Q4 prime. Do we have case 5? Yes. What if Q1 double prime plus Q2 double prime is really equal to Q4 double prime? Again, this is very rare, but if done intentionally, possible in the problem, but in the actual situations, that's rare. But when I create a problem that it falls here, then that is the easiest case because there's no need to investigate if this is the situation. So Q1 equals Q1 double prime. So P double prime is also P5. So Q1 equals Q1 double prime. Q2 will be Q2 double prime. Q3 will be 0. And Q4 will be Q4 double prime. So that's it for this reservoir problem. So I hope that you get the principles, you understood the explanations, and you can anticipate your solution to three reservoir or four reservoir problems.